Gray Latrobe, and welcome on this October 7th morning. Yo, Tim, I don't think it's no October 7th. I think it's Bucktober the 7th. Good morning, Gray Latrobe, and I'm Jim, and welcome to Jim and Tim in the Morning. We got all things Bucko baseball covered for you to for tonight's big matchup between the Cubs and the Bucks. On the mound for the Bucks, Tim, Garrett Cole. 2 1 6 ERA in the last four starts in the Cubs post and a 2 and 1 record. Overall, with a 2 6 0 ERA, how are the Cubs going to hit him, Tim? I mean, as long as they get one run, got Garrett Cole on the mound for Bucks, but Jake Arietta on the mound for the Cubbies. 21 and 6 this season, 0.86 ERA since the All Star break. Last 10 games, ERA 0.48. Best since that, Bob Gibson back in 1968. Got something pretty special going on right there. 0.75 ERA in five starts against the Buckos. They didn't get one run against them. How are they going to hit him? All right, Tim. You think that Jake Arrieta is going to go up there and shut him down again? Yeah, I do. Well, I don't think so. Because the Bucks, you can believe in the Bucko team this year. Yeah. Coming back from the Cardinals before the All-Star break that's twice. Everyone, that's what everyone said last year in a wild card game. They lost like 50 nothing against the Giants. 50 nothing. It was 8 nothing. Tim, get your facts straight. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. It was a blowout since the first inning. Yeah, Garrett yeah, Cooley yeah. better have his stuff. And I feel like the offense for the Buckos has gone downhill since Jung Ho went down went against the Cubs back like a couple weeks ago. They, their offense hasn't been the same. Kutch has been in a slump. Polanco, Marte. They gotta get, and they're going against the best in the business tonight. They got to get going. Yeah, I don't know. saying bad against McCutcheon and Marte. McCutcheon's a former MVP, Tim. Former. They need it now. They don't need former. They need it now. He has the Cubs are up and coming. to get it done. They're just going. They have nothing to worry about. They're all, they're all young. They're just going in there. They're playing ball. I mean, it's just, I mean, Bucks have to join in about a minute. All right. Uh, all right. I don't know. All right, we now send it out to Zach Acosta, pretending to be at PNC Park with the live report with the fans. Zach, how you doing out there? Hey guys, Zach Acosta, allegedly reporting for PNC Park. It is absolute pandemonium out here at the Pirates home field with many fans who have been waiting all summer for this moment. What are your thoughts on the Buckos game tonight? Well, as a true fan of the Pirates, I've been watching them for about 140 games this year. And right now is on one of their downsides, but pretty sure they're going to overcome adversity and take out the Cy Young winning Jake Arrieta with a 2-1 to one victory tonight. Oh! You heard it here, Gray Latrobe. Back to you, Jim. Let's go, Thanks for the report, Zach. So, Tim, they're pretty crazy down there. I mean, what's your prediction? I mean, got the blackout, got PNC going crazy. I mean, a been living in Pittsburgh my whole life. I don't know against the Pirates, Jake Arrieta. I don't know how you get. That's like asking me to guard Sean Gray Talk or Jake Biss one on one. I don't see the box being able to hit him tonight. 3-0, but uh, Cubs. Not so fast, my friend. Jake <laughs> Arrieta and the rest of Cubs Nation, listen up. Yins think you're gonna walk into a black sea of darkness and pitch all over these buckos. Yeah, they are. Well, I'll tell you what. Bucks have had harder tests than you, my friend, and there ain't no way that they're going to get shut down in the wild card game two years in a row. Seven nothing, Bucks. That's a statement, Weave. Uh, yeah, it we'll is a see. statement. We'll see. From Jim and Tim in the morning, I'm Jim. I'm Tim. Thanks for watching Greater Late Road.